Yes, now the Comptroller General of the Nigerian Immigration Service, Mohamed Babandede, has paid a visit to Enugu State Governor Ifai Yogwai to sympathize with him over the wanton destruction of private and public property. This in the wake of the NSAS protests hijacked in some parts of the country. The Comptroller General is also in the state to inspect facilities vandalized by the hoodlums. Bamidele Ajayi has details. This is the present state of the newly constructed Enugu State Command headquarters of the Nigerian Immigration Service and all the public infrastructure looted, burnt and vandalized by the hijack of the NSAS protest. The Controller General of Immigration is visiting Enugu State barely six weeks after the nation was thrown into chaos due to the unrest. And during that crisis, uh, immigration service, new command building. Actually, we were to commission it just a day before when it was uh, affected. But I must state uh, to the hearing of everybody that the government of Inugu has been of great support to the Nigerian immigration service. It took the coordinator of the Security Watch of Administration and the guarantor of our security agencies to the city to mitigate what would have been a complete destruction of this edifice, given the ferocity of these rampaging holders. Effective immigration management, which is the core of the organizational mandate, is key to robust internal security, and I know the government is your willing partner in the discharge of this mandate of your service. Similarly, the nine-man administrative panel of inquiry inspect public and private properties, including two police stations, bonds, to ascertain the level of damage in the state. It's unfortunate that uh, this could be called a misplaced aggression. But people should be very careful, especially those people who are committing those as atrocities and then destructions. On the 23rd and 27th of October, Governor Ifanigwai inaugurated the Judicial and Administrative Panels of Inquiry to investigate events surrounding the NSAS protests that led to loss of lives and property in the state. According to their mandate, the panels are expected to make recommendations, suggest compensation to families who lost their loved ones and property to the unfortunate incident. Bamidele Jai. TVC News, Enugun.